It has come to our attention that a mysterious force is loose. The mysteries of creation are there. Up in the sky? Up in the sky. It's not an easy skill to learn. I've been practicing it for many years. Once again, back is the incredible Sets BK1 from Ninja Nation Gaming, back yet again bringing you another, another, another very easy guide for the new Zombies map, Ancient Evil. Now, I just uploaded three other gauntlet guides that you could find all of them in the description below, but I saved the best for last, and I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade uh, Aranus. Yup, I said it right, Aranus. O-U-R-A-N-O-S. I bet the people at Treyarch had a laugh while naming this one. But anyway, yes, I'll be showing you how to upgrade the Fallen Hand of Aranus into the Redeemed Hand of Aranus. Yes, I'm going to keep saying it like that. Very fast, very easy. Again, I hope this guide helps you all out. Drill some super pimp slap like buttons, turn on notifications for an open bar. Okay? Okay. So... Let's get into the video. Just like the last upgrade videos, first thing you want to do is open up the amphitheater and activate the sentinel artifact. Once you have that done, you want to start looking for dormant hands. You will find these laying around the map in these glowing pots, sort of like the dead of the night crystals. Once you find one, pick it up and you can take these hands to any ritual of your choosing. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Fallen Hand of Aranus, and then upgrading it to the Redeemed Hand of Aranus. So, since this altar's location is down by Pack-a-Punch, you're first going to have to make sure you picked up the Golden Bridle, which can be found in either the Stoa of the Athenians, or the Intersection of Treasuries. When you pick this piece up, a boss zombie will spawn in, and you have to kill him. Once you kill him, he'll drop a shield part, but also the Pegasus will be waiting for you by the Spartan Monument, waiting to take you to the Underworld. If you have already done that, then just use the fast travel and leave the Pegasus alone, man. Anyway, once you get down there, go to the shrine located by the center of the world and activate the ritual. Now stay in the glowing circle for 30 seconds while you defend yourself against oncoming zombies. Once the ritual is done, you can now pick up the Fallen Hand of Aranus and start upgrading it right away. You won't need to go far because you'll be where the first step is located at. At the bottom left, you'll see an arrow with feathers. Now what you want to do is shoot zombies with Aranus and wind blast them into the arrow knocking a feather loose. Then what you want to do is shoot the feather and guide it back to the shrine. If the feather touches the floor or does not make it to the shrine, just try again. Once you have completed the first arrow and feather, it's time to move up to the cliff ruins. There located behind the mystery box is the second arrow. Do the same thing as before. Shoot a zombie into it, knocking a feather loose and guide it with a blast from your gauntlet back to the shrine. After that, head over to Python Past and behind that mystery box, that location will be your third arrow. Again, shoot a zombie into it with a blast from your gauntlet to knock a feather loose and guide it back to the shrine. You can tell when you have done all three successfully because there will be three glowing feathers on the shrine. Then a portal will open up. Once you enter the portal, it will take you to another area outside of the map to use the redeemed hand of Aranus and get used to its special abilities. Which I have to say, even though it's a funny name, they are freaking awesome. And one of the most OP out of the four gauntlets. All you really have to do is walk around holding R2. Once you've killed enough zombies with it, you will then see another portal open up and you will be automatically teleported back to the map wielding the redeemed hand of Aranus. Now you can go have fun blasting zombies across the map and whipping out tornadoes in tight spots. I definitely see this gauntlet being kind of like the lightning bow of Ancient Evil. So get it quick before the noob gets it. Anyway, thanks for watching again. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, be sure to drop a like or robots will rule the planet. Beep, bop, beep, bye.